What up, YouTube? I'm Topaz Yates, and I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Jaquaz Tony. Then we're going to jump into this Nicki Minaj video review. Then we're going to take some questions. So this Nicki Minaj, Feeling Myself, featuring Beyonce, man, this is not one of my favorite songs that came off of that Pink Print album, man. Therefore, you know, I was kind of happy to see that they attached some visuals to it. And shit, who doesn't want to see this kind of eye candy, my dude? So I sat up and watched it. I'm like, very damn disappointed. I see what the director tried to do here. He tried to document the road to Coachella and such, man, because that's pretty much the entire theme around it. But it was done so sloppily. It was really just random visual after random visual, no particular theme, let's just put these pretty women in front of the camera and people gonna eat that shit up. And I mean, I watched it so I guess I ate that shit up for the first time, but not after, like usually when you add visuals to it, you're supposed to add more to the track. These types of things actually help these tracks grow on individuals and such, man. But this one, it has no growth in it. I really can't fuck with it like that. But I will say this is a lesson for many individual artists and such, man. Because that pink put, it dropped a little fucking minute ago, dude. They still making videos for it. See, most underground MCs and such, once they drop a mixtape, it's like they turn around and start working on the next one instead of promoting that shit. Like, wow, you look at the professionals, man. They spend so long and put in so much work to put out one project, man, that they do not let that shit just go without a fight, you did. They're going to put as many videos as they can. They're going to promote as long as they possibly can as well before they start working on the next project. See, if you spend a lot of man hours on doing some shit, man, it makes no sense to just drop it and just let it go. You got to make sure those hours that you put into it will actually count for something that you can build from in the future. And that is why Nikki is still dropping videos from the pink print. I still recommend people just peep it just for one good watch, man, but it's nothing more than that. But anyway, on to ask, down low pass. And Tight Money Grip says that he sees hip hop going in a direction that if you are not with an open mind and such, man, you're not going to be able to get with it. And I feel you on a degree you did because. I see a lot of the popular artists and such out here from Kendrick Lamar on to J. Cole to on everybody out there, man. They're doing more socially conscious stuff. This is where the game is evolving. So anybody who's not thinking on that level, man, they're not going to be with this new evolution of music and where it's going with the new popular artists and such. But never get it twisted. As long as there's a market for that ignorant dumb shit it's always going to be in existence. There's always going to be somebody to fulfill that damn need. So, they will always have something. And Jamil asks, what are the main components of artist development? And which, pretty good question, but there's no solid answer to that there because every label's artist development is different. Well, at least it was in the past when it was still in existence because Every label had their own resources and shit that they had to obtain in order to have that. So therefore, nobody's could be the exact same. See, the best example I can give people is Motown. How they had a ton of artists under Motown, but a lot of them never really came out and such, man. Because they had listening sessions of every song that they've ever recorded. And the vast majority of everyone in the room had to support a particular song in order for them to put the promotional dollars behind it. That's just one aspect of it. But besides that, they seeked out and brought in some of the best fucking songwriters, man, to work with everybody that they had. They had best choreographers and dancers come in to work with everybody, trying to mold what was raw talent into finished products and such that they can go out and fucking sell. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.